zero and lift off. With its trademark roar, the space shuttle Endeavour took to the skies for one last ride. Under the command of Captain Mark Kelly, Endeavour performed flawlessly as it soared into orbit just before 9 Eastern Time Monday morning. It is in the DNA of our great country to reach for the stars and explore. We must not stop. To all of the millions watching today, including our spouses, children, family and friends, we thank you for your support. One spouse getting a lot of attention on this day, Kelly's wife, Representative Gabrielle Giffords, still recovering from a gunshot wound to the head, sustained at a constituent event in Arizona earlier this year. Giffords watched her husband take to space from a private vantage point at the Launch Control Center. For all of us, we were sort of speechless during this process. So there were, you know, I can't say there were a lot of words, um, you know, during the, the viewing, but... Uh, but she did at the end say to me, I was sort of standing to her left, and, and she looked up at me and she said, good stuff, good stuff. During their 16-day mission, the six-man crew will conduct four spacewalks and deliver a $2 billion magnetic instrument to the International Space Station. Monday marked NASA's second attempt at launching Endeavour. Their first attempt about two weeks ago was scrubbed due to a mechanical problem. It is the second to the last launch of NASA's shuttle program, which after some 30 years will come to an end later this summer with the final launch of Atlantis. I really challenged the team and challenged all of us to, to treat each one of these missions as much as we can just like a regular mission so our you know our job is to to look at the flight rules look at our procedures look at our launch countdown everything we do i want it to feel just like there's this isn't the last mission but this is one of many missions to go forward before this final mission endeavor has already logged 116 million miles spent 283 days in space and carried 170 different astronauts jason bronis associated press at Kennedy Space Center.